Welcome back to the Tacomaholic channel, everybody. It's been a little while since my last video, but as you can see, I'm having myself a little bit of a vacation. And what's vacation? Vacations when you go somewhere and you don't ever come back. If this is your first time stopping by to the Tacoma Holic channel where we feed your addiction for everything Tacoma related, go ahead and do everyone a favor and subscribe now. I am enjoying a beautiful week at the beach here in the Outer Banks, North Carolina, so it only seems fitting to do a video on some basics tips for driving in the sand, which we will go over right now. All right, guys, it is pretty windy out here, obviously, since I am on the open beach, so hopefully the audio on this video is not suffering because of that. So. Just like with off-roading in general, the first thing I'm going to say is don't drive on the beach by yourself because you know how that goes. When you go off-roading, get on the beach somewhere you're not familiar, that's when something bad's going to happen. So having an extra set of hands or a vehicle to recover you and pull you out is just going to make your life so much easier. So don't go alone, especially if you've never been on the beach or the sand in specific where you're heading that day. All right, guys, and the second quick tip, and this is especially important if you do decide to get out on the beach or the sand by yourself, make sure you have the proper equipment and Specifically for driving in the sand, I'm going to recommend bring a shovel just in case you do have to dig your tires out. Bring some kind of recovery boards. I actually don't have my recovery boards on me, so forgive me for that. But I have driven on this beach before. I know the sand is pretty packed. It's not as loose as some other beaches. And then, of course, bring some recovery straps, toe straps, whatever you have, in case you do need to get yanked out of the sand. I'm not yanking you. And the next tip, it's just a driving tip, so you don't have to spend any money to do anything. You just have to maintain your speed whenever possible. Obviously, this is going to depend on what kind of sand driving you're doing. If you're doing like dune jumping, this is going to be a little different. But if you're just like I am today, driving on the beach just to go hang out somewhere. On some beaches, they do have speed limits. Like this beach, it's 25 miles an hour. But if you're in the middle of nowhere and you can drive as fast as you want, obviously that's not going to pertain to you. But you do want to maintain as much speed as possible because when you slow down, that's when you are going to be much more likely to stop. Just like when going through the mud, maintaining that speed will help you power through, whereas you might have gotten stuck before if you were going slower. All right, guys, and for the last tip, this is probably the most important, which will help you out the most, air down your tires. Now, again, this is sort of dependent on if you've been to the location before. I've been on this beach before, and actually I got here, I got out to my specific spot right now, which is a couple miles down on the beach from the entryway. I got here without airing down any of my tires, and I was in two-wheel drive the whole time. But again, like for the previous point, I was able to maintain about 25 miles an hour right out the gate, so never had any issues at all. And it is sort of fun to see like how far you can go just in two-wheel drive. Uh, you know, just test out your Tacoma's abilities. I think a lot of you will be pleasantly surprised. That being said, if you've never been to a beach before or a sandy area where you plan on driving, definitely air down your tires and you can probably go a little lower than what your usual PSI is for like off-roading in general. Since the chance of you popping a bead on the sand is gonna be much lower, unless of course you're ripping donuts or sharp turns at higher speed, my usual go-to off-roading PSI is 15 PSI on my tires. So that's what I would start with and maybe even go on to 12 or 10 if I know I'm just driving in straight line on the sand. And again, to do this, make sure you have like a, one of the ARB quick deflates or one of those tools and plan ahead to make sure you either have access to a gas station to air up when you're back off the sand on regular paved roads because that's gonna eat up your tires, kill your gas mileage, or make sure you have an air compressor or one of your buddies does so you can air up before getting back out on the dry road. All right guys, that will do it for today's video. Again, just wanted to get something quick out to you guys, beach related, since that's where I'm hanging out for the past week. If you do have any additional tips for beach driving or driving in the sand, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what that is, share with the group. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and comment something below. And don't forget to check out my Teespring store and my website linked in the description below. I'll be back to my usual self next week with regular uploads, so stay tuned for that. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.